Hi kids! Today we will learn how to solve problems involving going back and forward in a 12-hour clock system. So let's start! Here we have a clock. By using this clock, we will learn how we can tell time after some given duration of time. And also, what would be the time before some given duration of time? The clock is showing 10 o'clock. What will be the time an hour later? Minute hand completes one round of the clock in an hour. So, it will reach 12 after an hour again. An hour hand will reach next number in an hour. So, the hour hand will reach 11. So, it will be 11 o'clock after an hour. Now, what will be the time three hours later? Let's see. When one hour has passed, the hour hand will move from 11 to 12. When second hour has passed, the hour hand will move from 12 to 1. When third hour has passed, the hour hand will move from 1 to 2. So, after 3 hours, the time will be 2 o'clock. Now, what will be the time 7 hours later? In 7 hours, the hour hand will move from 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 8, and 8 to 9. And as each hour passes, the minute hand will take one round of the clock. So, it will be 9 o'clock after 7 hours. Now, what time will be the time after 4 hours and 30 minutes? We will calculate the required time in two steps. Let's first see what will be the time after 4 hours. And then we will calculate what will be the time after 30 minutes. This way, it would be easier for you. The hour hand will move from 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, and 12 to 1. So, it will be 1 o'clock after 4 hours. Now let's see what will be the time after 30 minutes. Minute hand moves from one number to another in 5 minutes. Minute hand will move from 12 to 1. 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, and finally 5 to 6. This way, 30 minutes will pass. So, the minute hand will reach 6 in 30 minutes. And time will be 1.30. So, it will be 1.30 after 4 hours and 30 minutes. Now let's calculate, what was the time 3 hours and 10 minutes ago? We will calculate the time in two steps. Let's first see what was the time 3 hours ago, and then see what was the time 10 minutes ago. It's 1.30. One hour ago, the time was 12.30. One more hour ago, it was 11.30. One more hour ago, it was 10.30. And three hours ago, it was 10.30. Now, calculate what was the time 10 minutes ago. For that, move back the minute hand 10 minutes. Move back the minute hand 6 to 5. And then 5 to 4. The time would be 10.20. So... Three hours and ten minutes ago, the time would be 10.20. Now calculate, what was the time four hours and twenty minutes ago? Again, 
We will calculate it in two steps. First, find the time four hours ago. Then find the time 20 minutes ago. For finding the time four hours ago, move the hour hand. 10.20 to 9.20. 9.20 to 20. 8.20 to 7.20. 7.20 to 6.20. So, four hours ago, the time was 6.20. Now, let's calculate what was the time 20 minutes back. For that, move the minute hand 20 minutes back. 4 to 3. 3 to 2. 2 to 1. 1 to 12. So, the minute hand will move 20 minutes back. And the time is 6 o'clock. And with this, we are done with our last example. Now, let me ask you a few questions in a quick fashion. It is 3 o'clock. What will be the time after 6 hours? Move the hour hand. 3 to 4. 4 to 5. 5 to 6. 6 to 7. 7 to 8, 8 to 9. Six hours later, it will be 9 o'clock. Now, what will be the time two hours and 30 minutes later? Let's first calculate the time after two hours. For that, hop the hour needle two times and you will get 11 o'clock. Now calculate the time after 30 minutes. Pop the minute hand six times. As we know, five minutes are passed when minute hand moves from one number to the other number. So, this way we get 11.30 on the clock. If it is 3.15 on the clock, what was the time four hours and 50 minutes ago? For this, we will calculate the time in two steps. We will first calculate what was the time four hours back. For that, hop back the hour hand four times. We will get 11.15. Now, calculate what was the time 50 minutes back. For that, hop back the minute hand 10 times as 50 minutes are past when the minute hand moves 10 numbers back. So, we get 10.25. So kids, we learned that we can calculate the time after some given duration of time by moving forward in a clock. And we can also calculate the time before a given duration of time by moving backwards in a clock. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.